Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. Ho ho ho! Merry Floke, miss my friends! Welcome back to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and today we're going to be discussing a really fun project that is clearly Christmas related. Today we're discussing Santa Floki. Now I apologize to all of those who would prefer that I have a regular Christmas hat. The only one that I have is an Eagles Christmas hat for some reason. <laughs> So I decided to put that on and shoot this video for you, my friends, to discuss a very interesting project that I'm a big fan of already. So you can see we're discussing Santa Floki, which is very fun in the name. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Floki OG, Elon Musk's dog. So uh, this is a real fun one. And I love a project like this because it's not just like a Christmas central project. It's not an only Christmas project. They do want to do a year-round thing, and it's a project that really gives back as well, made by a really cool team called the Parabolic 8, so it's a an eight-man development team, which is really great as well to know, because the more people that work on that thing, the more trustworthy it is, and it's a team that actually I looked up, and they seem to be very well regarded. So let's jump on into this one. Uh, this is the initial website, of course, with beautiful animation, and we will scroll down and get into that once we check out our links today. We've got our dashboard right there if you were interested in actually putting in your address, checking that out, see, you know, buying, buying some, checking your balance, rewards, that sort of thing, which I I love they have that. Now, this is the Parabolic 8 development team announcements disc or telegram, excuse me. Pardon me. Which is really cool that they actually have their own telegram for the team developing it. I think that's extremely clever to do. We've got 715 and growing big here on Twitter. You can see, I mean, lots of retweets and likes. I, I mean, for, for the size that it is, it's getting some serious love. And it's only growing. I jumped on this one very early, my friends. We've got a Facebook page as well, uh, with with friends instead of followers, actually, which is pretty cool they did that. We've got an Instagram with, uh, again, a growing following. There's a lot of talk about this on Reddit, by the way. This, this has some serious, serious stuff here on Reddit with upvotes, so that's a really good sign for any project like this. You want Reddit to be booming for a project along like th these regard. And then we've got 10,000 members, essentially, I'm, I'm gonna say close enough, 10,000 here and the telegram with a very active community so you see there's over 1500 people on right now i went through and i was just chatting with the people very nice community they seem really cool and i have this exclusive little pdf that i was sent by the team which i'm interested to discuss with you because I think this PDF breaks down the project really, really well. And just to answer you all, no, I'm not taking this hat off. My hair is a mess under here now. <laughs> We're, I'm going to have to stick to the bit this whole episode, my friends. Uh, this year's premier meme cryptocurrency, Santa Floki, has raised over $15,000 in the first 48 hours of its release for SaveTheChildren.org. And first off, I love that. And we're going to get into a little bit more about how much good that they do. But something I don't really discuss a lot on this channel, I'm actually personally adopted. Um, so I am someone who is really passionate about any charity that's helping children who are not able to fend for themselves, right? You know, I'm very lucky to be adopted. I'm thankful every day for that. But there are children that are not as lucky as myself. You know, if you're a person who's adopted out there as well, you know, there are children like us that are just didn't get as lucky. So I always want to make sure to give back. That's what this project is doing. And it's giving to a really good charity. SaveTheChildren.org. It's a great charity. Now, what is Santa Floki, though? Santa Floki is this season's ultimate meme charity cryptocurrency, offering significant continuous continual charitable donations built into their smart contract. Santa Floki was released on the Binance Smart Chain, one of the largest blockchains of course, on November 17th, 2021 just over 48 hours. Their token has traded over $1.3 million in volume. Man, that's big. Raised more than 15,000 for the charity, the chosen charity, SaveTheChildren.org, again, great charity. 1% of all transaction buys or sells are stashed away to donate to this charity. It continues to grow with each transaction. Santa equals holiday season. Floki equals Elon Musk's puppy. Agreed, I mean, as I said. 
the OG Floki, if you will. Uh, who is the team? The team Parabolic 8. So I, I did mention them. They're well-respected investors, back-end project developers who developed this team to make a place for the people to invest in projects free from scams due to the strong sense of community and welfare for the Parabolic 8. They decided all of their future projects will make donations to people and animals in need, which that's really great. You know, it, it the funniest thing that I think that a lot of projects don't understand is they could actually take like 1% off of one of the other things that they're wasting money off of and just take one again i i even said this in a recent video just one percent that's it and that that ended up being fifteen thousand dollars that's going to be life-changing for some people so that's that's what you need to remember my friends is you know giving back is a really important thing not only in in your day-to-day -day life if you're running a company it's gonna look good i'll just tell you that uh, what are the basic financial details? Which is, by the way, a great way to put that great question. What are they? Why Why do I care about this project, right? What It's like, okay, it's nice, Freddie. Great, it's a charity. Charity's not gonna make me money. Well, it will in this case. Each cryptocurrency project has a smart contract in the background that not only allows for transactions to buy and sell, but designates percentages of each transaction to specific functions. In Santa Floki's smart contract, their tokenomics, Santanomics as they call it, uh, look like the following, and there, by the way, I'm already going to tell you I'm a big fan of these, these tokenomics, and you're going to know why in just a second. 14% of all transactions are distributed in the following percentages. 4% BUSD to holders, which 4% holders is perfect. 6% marketing. What does your boy Freddy always say? 5 to 6% at minimum for marketing on any meme coin project. They know exactly what they're doing on this team. That's why I was, I believe it when they said they're made up of professionals. Because look, not many people have looked at as many different crypto projects as I have. I'm not saying I'm like over the top of the most knowledgeable guy in crypto, but I look, I have looked at hundreds and hundreds of websites. At this point, I have hundreds of videos up on my channels. And so that's why I say it is, it is just imperative to put in five to 6% to market your project to make sure people buy into it. Because as with the donation, marketing comes back in the end. You spend 6% to make 12% back. Um, or really double what you put into marketing, we'll say. 2% into the liquidity pool, which is great. 1% to private investors, which is also fine, by the way. 1% private investors, I, that's great. That is that is totally fair. Uh, you know, they'll do 10% sometimes on some projects. So that's great. And what are the long-term expectations? Their long-term expectations um, with the token is to build the community throughout this holiday season and continue through following seasons. They have three goal market caps, 10 million, 100 million, and 1 billion. As the MC rises, the amount of the charity rises in direct conju uh, conjunction, excuse me. Their goal is to provide as much as they can to minimize the suffering of children across the world, which, again, as someone who's adopted, was orphaned when I was young, I love that. I, I really appreciate that about this project. And we back. I'm so sorry, my friends. OBS just crashed, so this episode's a two-parter technically, but let's get back right into the website. We'll finish this up and we'll be all set. So the Santonomics, we just checked those out again. I love their Santonomics. Let me tell you, great places that they're putting all of their money into. Parabolic 8 development team, as we did see a little bit there. This is a little bit more about the team. We saw their Telegram, but um, I, I think it's really cool that a big point of this project is the team behind it. I think it's really amazing that the team is set of these people that work together on a regular basis, and so that's amazing. And the Santa Floki's stops, or the roadmap, as others would call it, they, they have some really cool, unique names with what they call things on this, though. So the pre-sale, uh, which already happened, discussing everything going on there. Then uh, wallet development, they're going to add additional NFTs, major partnerships. So they're trying to work with some big names, the merchandise store, which, by the way, they, uh, they're going to be working on that as well which is down here for what they have at the moment shop now for fully customizable merchandise, which is really cool. If anyone wants to send me merchandise from the team, I'm always I'm always accepting free merch. Just, just throwing that out there. Uh, Santa Floki stats, so you can check their stats here as well if you're interested, which I think it's really cool. They go ahead and put those on their website for you to look at because a lot of places actually make it a little bit harder for you to find where their coin gecko is and stuff because they don't want you to know their numbers. Santa Floki, they're happy to they're happy to show it off because they're doing real well. You can see they are already doing very well for themselves. Uh, let's see, go back. So to the roadmap though, just to kind of end. So 
they're essentially hoping to have a multi-year Christmas extravaganza, a, a year-round token. But every, you know, every year during Christmas, basically do a big type of charity giveaway thing, which is really cool. I, I think it's great that they're themed around a holiday and they are going to exist in, you know, the, these just year round, right? So it is Dessert Finance Audited, if you'd like to check that out, and the white paper as well for this project. I thought I'd actually open that one up to show you guys, so we will actually just let this open so you can see, because I liked their white paper a lot. So you can see it's, it's, real, it's real short and sweet, but it is very, very pretty. And it really just goes over a lot of what we're talking about anyway, so we're not going to touch too much on it. And the FAQ here, if you are interested in a little bit more, I think we really answered everything though, but if you're interested on, on any specifics, please check out their FAQ as well, and you're welcome to contact the team right there. The team is super easy to get in touch with, it's a very communicative team, they are some really nice people, and it's a really cool project idea. So, uh, as always my friends, thank you for coming by Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, this has been Santa Floki, and I will see you in the next video.